the Save Me um, acronym that the BCCDC promotes. And so the first thing, again, is, is stimulate them. If they're unresponsive, call 911. Then we want to make sure that their airway is clear, so get them on their back, uh, tilt their uh, chin sort of upwards, make sure that there's no vomit in the mouth, if there is sort of cleared up, but give them an opportunity to have an airway get air. Maybe they're just choking and not actually having uh, an opioid overdose. And then you want to ventilate them. So these guys promote um, one breath every five seconds to sort of uh, just make sure that they're getting some, some opportunity to have some oxygen around it, and then evaluate them. So are they getting better? If they're not, what we want to do is provide them with the intravascular injections. So sort of during this whole time, during the first uh, two steps when you're getting the airway ready and, and ventilating, um, if they're not coming to and fighting you off and, and breathing on their own, um, then you really want to be thinking about, do I have naloxone available? Um, can I prepare it and start putting it into this person? After you provide the intramuscular injection, um, then you want to evaluate to stay with them. Do they need a second dose? If they're not responsive after you know three, three, four, five minutes, um, you might want to give another injection because maybe the amount of naloxone you gave them isn't enough for reversing their overdose. There's a little bit of, of debate um, right now when we're talking about uh, providing breaths or providing compressions only CPR. Um, I would say follow your your local guidance. I mean. I've certainly read some things that suggest that uh, compression-only CPR is uh, more effective than ventilation only, uh, but at the same time, breaths might be easier to do when you're alone trying to prepare the naloxone kits for the intramuscular injection. So uh, the BCCDC, they've gone along with that, ventilate every five seconds, um, sort of prepare the naloxone in, in between providing breaths, but really um, get the naloxone ready and get it into them as quick as possible.